Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Tandwa and in this video we are going to write a C++ program to determine whether the given number is an Armstrong number. So Armstrong number let us understand what is the meaning of this. So if I write any three digit number, if I make a cube of sum of these individual digits must give me the same number. For example, if I write one cube, next digit is five cube and three cube. And if I add them, I must get the same number. So such numbers are called Armstrong number. Here you can see one cube, one into one into one gives us one only plus five into five into five, five fives are 25, 25 fives are 125 plus three threes are nine, nine threes are 27. So 125 plus 27 is 152 plus one is 153. So again, we'll get the same number so such numbers are called armstrong numbers if it is not then it is not a armstrong number now let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in angular brace we are going to write io stream dot h header file and the next preprocessor directive is hash include in a angular brace we'll write console input output dot h header file now we are going to write wide main function curly open brace and here i'm going to declare all the necessary variables which are to be used in the program uh, with the data type int n i'll take sum next i'll take one variable called num and one more variable called digit and put semicolon now i'm going to write clr scr function which is used to clear the screen now i'll ask the user to enter the number using c out stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark i'm going to write enter the number so enter double quotation mark and put semicolon and now i'm going to receive the response from the user through keyboard using c in stream extraction operator and the variable n i'm going to take here now i'm going to keep the original number intact for that i'm going to save this particular number received from the user in one more variable called num for example i'm going to write num is equal to n so whatever the value you are going to get from the user so it is equated to num and it will be uh, used to keep and it will be used to compare the original number entered and then the uh, cube of sum of all the digits of a given number right yes now let us write sum is equal to zero and put semicolon and now i'm going to use do while statement i'm going to write do so do is a keyword it should be written in lowercase letter curly open brace indicates this is the beginning of body of a do while uh, iterative statement now i'm going to use the variable called digit in order to get the remainder now i'm going to write n modular division by 10 and put semicolon and now I'm going to write sum is equal to sum plus digit into digit into digit because it has to cube. So that's the reason digit into digit into digit I have written here. Next, I'm going to write n is equal to n integer division by 10 and curly closing brace. And here we are going to check out the condition in a while construct. Here while should be written in lowercase letter because it is a keyword while n not equal to zero and then put semicolon. If it is not equal to zero, again the control has to transfer to do and it has to execute these three set of statements. After iteration, I have to check out if the entered number is equal to the sum of the number or not. So sum is equal to num because the original value is equated to num variable here so that's the reason in order to compare the original entered number and after performing the sum of cube of each digit of a given number if they are equal then it has to print i'm going to write here c out stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark i'm going to write it is an armstrong number end the double quotation mark and put semicolon if it is false then else part c out in a stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark i'm going to write it is not an armstrong number 
so end the double quotation mark put semicolon and here i'm going to write get ch function curly closing brace now let us take an example here i'm going to write output so once we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter the number here i'm going to write enter the number for example i'm going to enter 153 now n is holding value 153 now in turn it is initialized to one more variable called num so num is equal to 153 yes next sum is set to 0 do digit is equal to n modular division by 10 so this always gives us the remainder after dividing so i'm going to write here the variable digit is equal to n value is what n value is 153 modular division by 10 so modular division always gives us the remainder you can divide 153 by 10 so 10 ones are 10 15 are 150 so 153 minus 150 is 3 so 3 is the remainder so 3 will be stored in a variable called digit the next statement is sum is equal to sum for the first time it is set to 0 so i'm going to write 0 plus digit is what 3 so again into 3 so again into 3 so here we need to calculate 3 3s are 9 9 3s are 27 27 plus 0 is 27 so 27 is stored in sum next the third statement is n is equal to n is 153 mod uh, integer division by 10 so integer division always gives us the quotient so 10 ones are 10 15 are 150 so here it is going to return 15 and here one iterative statement is over that is the first iteration is over next we are going to check out the condition in a while here n is not equal to 0 because n value is what it is 15 which is not equal to 0 condition is true once again the control transfers to do and it is going to execute all these three set of statements so again i am going to write digit is equal to n is now it is 15 modular division by 10 so this gives us remainder 10 ones are 10 ones are 5 will become the remainder so 5 is stored in digit next we are going to perform sum is equal to now sum value is what it is 27 it is not 0 now sum is having the value 27 i am going to write 27 plus digit into digit into digit that is digit is 5 into 5 into 5 so further we can simplify this 27 plus 5 fives are 25 25 fives are 125 so 27 plus 125 this gives us 152 next we are going to write n is equal to n value is what n value is 15 so 15 integer division by 10 this gives us quotient so 10 ones are 10 ones are so n value will become 1 so here the second iteration is over now n is 1 and we are going to check out the condition in while so 1 is not equal to 0 hence it is true once again again control transfers to do and then it is going to execute these three statements once again now i am going to write digit is equal to n is what 1 modular division by 10 the basic rule of mathematics says that when the numerator is less than denominator then the numerator acts as a remainder so here 1 is less than 10 hence 1 will be the remainder and quotient will become 0 sum is equal to now some value is changed to 152 so now i'm going to write 152 plus digit into digit into digit digit is what 1 1 into 1 into 1 so this gives us 152 plus 1 ones are 1 1 ones are 1 so 152 plus 1 is equal to 153 next we are going to execute the third statement n is equal to 1 integer division by 10 so as i said just now as per the basic mathematical rule when the numerator is less than denominator then the numerator acts as a remainder and quotient will become zero so here integer division always gives us quotient hence n value is zero so here third iteration is over now n is equal to zero next we are going to check out the condition zero is not equal to zero no condition fails once the condition fails then the control comes out of this looping structure and it is going to execute the next statement now the next statement is checking this condition what is sum sum consisting of 153 here i'm going to write if sum is 153 is equal to num 
what is the value stored in num here you can see it is 153 so 153 is equal to 153 yes condition is true once the condition is true it is going to print it is an armstrong number i'm going to write it is an armstrong number now let us say this is run one so one more time we are going to execute this program here i'm going to write this is run two now i'm going to um, write here the same statement so it, will, it is going to ask the user to enter the number here i'm going to write enter the number this time i'm going to write 270 for example okay next so n is holding 270 next it is equated to num so num is equal to what 270 next sum is equal to 0 do and we are going to perform these three statements now i am going to write digit is equal to n is what n is 270 modular division by 10 so this always gives us the remainder so remainder is what zero here right next we are going to perform the next statement sum is equal to sum is for the first time it is zero plus digit is zero zero into zero into zero so zero into zero is zero zero into zero is zero zero plus zero is zero only so here zero will be stored in sum next n is equal to n is 270 integer division by 10 this gives us 10 ones are 10 20 sevens are so here 27 will become the quotient and this completes the first iteration right yes next again it is going to check out the condition so here 27 is not equal to 0 condition is true once again control transfers to do and it is going to execute all these three statements next i am going to write digit is equal to now n value is 27 modular division by 10 so this gives us the remainder so 10 ones are 10 twos are 20 7 will become the remainder right so it will be stored in digit next we are going to perform sum is equal to sum value is what 0 plus digit into digit into digit digit is what 7 into 7 into 7 so 7 7s are 49 49 7s are you can calculate here 7s are uh, 9 6 sorry 7 9s are 63 so 28 7 4s are 28 28 plus uh, 6 it will become 34 is yes, 343 so 343 plus 0 is 343 will be stored in sum next we are going to perform n is equal to n uh, integer division by 10 so n value is 27 integer division by 10 so this gives us what quotient 10 ones are 10 twos are so 2 will become the quotient so again here the second iteration is over right yes next we are going to check out this condition so n value is what now 2 so 2 is not equal to 0 once again control transfer should do and it is going to execute these three statements so the next iteration i am going to write it here so that we can refer this logic clearly yes now the n value is what 2 modular division by 10 so as per the basic mathematical rule when the numerator is less than denominator then the numerator acts as the remainder here 2 will become the remainder and quotient is 0 next statement is sum is equal to sum value is what now it is 343 in the previous loop correct so 343 plus digit into digit into digit so digit is 2 so 2 into 2 into 2 next further we will simplify 343 plus 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 so here it will become 351 correct yes again we are going to execute the next statement n is equal to n value is what 2 so 2 integer division by 10 so here quotient will become 0 correct yes so third iteration is over and now we are going to check out the condition while n is not equal to 0 here it is equal to 0 hence condition will become false once the condition is false then the control comes out of this do while looping construct and it is going to check out this condition so what will happen now if i'm going to write here if sum is what sum is holding 351 is equal to num num is what 
here it is 270 right so 270 whether they are equal no they are not equal hence it is not going to print it is an Armstrong number what will happen the condition is false then the control transfers to else part it is going to print it is not an Armstrong number here I'm going to write it is going to print it is not an Armstrong number let us execute this program for that I will take you to my laptop screen here you can see I have already written this program in turbo C++ compiler to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt F9 here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error and I'm going to press enter now let us run this program by pressing ctrl F9 here it is asking the user to enter the number for example I'm going to enter 153 and then press enter here it is printing it is an Armstrong number let us run this program one more time by pressing ctrl F9 here once again it is asking the user to enter the number for example now I'm going to enter 270 and then press enter so now it is printing it is not an Armstrong number I hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood thank you